matchup. Marvin Campbell from Missoula, Montana on the left of your screen in blue. Monte Parla now on the left of your screen in the black trucks with a white stripe. Campbell, the number one ranked contender for this crown, and Parlov, number two, the World Boxing Council, sanctioning this first ever cruiserweight championship fight here from Split Yugoslavia. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy at ringside. Marvin Campbell weighed 183 and a half. Monte Parlov, 189, a pound under the limit of 190. Campbell is 35, 2 and 1. Parlov, 24 wins, two losses, one draw. Two left-handed boxers. Campbell is 27, he'll be 28 on Christmas Eve. Monte Parlov is 31 years of age. In his last fight, Campbell defeated David Cabrera, a third-round knockout. It was an elimination bout to get to this championship fight. Monte Parlov decision Tony Mundine at Gorizia, Italy, in his elimination bout, a 12-round decision in September. And so here they are, the first-ever cruiserweight championship. Tim, when you watch through Southpaw's boxing, it looks like you're looking at a fight through a mirror. Uh, once you get used to it, it's just the, the same as any other fight. Just turn them around. But these two fighters are technicians. They're not known as punches. Judging is by the referee and two judges on the 10-point must system under WBC rules. The referee is Raymond Valderu from Paris, France. The judges are Sid Nathan from London and James Brimmel from Cardiff, Wales. The 10-point must system, the winner of the round gets 10 points or less. The loser, uh, the winner gets 10 points, pardon me, the loser gets 9 or less. No knockdown uh, rule is in effect, no three knockdown rule. Mandatory eight count. Counting for the knockdown will continue after the bell, except in the final round. Watching Camel in the uh, gym, we saw a good sharp jab that we're seeing now. He's not known as a great puncher. He does have 16 knockouts and 35 wins. Parlov with 12 knockouts and his 24 wins. Parlov, Parlov is subject to cuts and has been a problem with him throughout his career. And as you get older, those cuts open more easily. That may be a factor in the fight as the fight goes on. More than 7,000 fans here at the Grifa Sports Hall. And of course, uh, they are about 99% for Monte Parlov, although they gave a big welcome to Marvin Campbell when he came into the ring wearing his Indian headdress. His mother is a full-blooded Indian from the Kootenai Salish tribe out in Montana. Tim, you said 99%. Black. Where's the other 1%? <laughs> well, Marvin's uh, corner, I guess. Final seconds of round number one. This jab that Kamal is using against Parlov is the same type of jab that Kenny Norton used every time he boxed Muhammad Ali. That's why he gave him all that trouble. But what Parlov has to do, he has to counter with a right hook to the body because Kamal bends right into it. But so far, Parlov hasn't done that. And that's the same problem that Ali had with Norton. You've got to throw that hook off the other fella's jab. And if you don't do that, he's just going to jab you to death. We're under a minute remaining in the seventh round. And we've got lots more championship boxing matches coming up after the first of the year. Combination from... I odmah će ostati čekanje da vidimo kako su sve to izvodovali Sid Nathan i James Primal. Posljednja runda, petnesta runda. To je otvoreni opršaj. Više se nema ko šta čuvati snagu za stav. Sve što još imaju u sebi istrpće u ove sljedeće još dvije i po minute koliko je preostalo do kraja. Sada ide i ljevicom koju je zaista malo koristio, možda će ga to i skupo koštati. Još jednom pogled za Kemala ljevicom. Da li je sad Kemal konačno potražio spas u klinču? Je li on možda ipak u Zrman? Prošla je jedna minuta ove žestoke 15. runde. Konačno poslao za suca Raimona Banderoa.
Ljubić, onaj lagani plesač oko Parlera. Sada on traži pogrebeno spasu Klinču i Uzmića. Prošla je polovica 15. runde. Oslanja se tamo i to što je soko kadar. Konačno je i on iscrpio svoje rezervare snage i sada prima udar sa Karlova. Pažna je ova runda, iako se svaka jedna to boduje zbog konačnog utiska. Često puta završnica donosi presudnu odluku, jer ona stvara konačni dojam o meću. Posljednja minuta borbe, posljednja minuta posljednje runde. Zaista su dali sve od sebe obojica i ovo su posljednji atomi, posljednje trunke snage koje izlače, čak već rekao bih iznad svojih mogućnosti, iznad svoje pripremljenosti. Ide Parlov napred, Hemel se ostanja. Još 30 sekundi. već sada na sunce automatski ispaljuje udarce koje uglavnom idu u matine rukavice posljednjih desetak sekundi borbe i sada zaista posljednji udarci u svakog časa trebao bi se oglasiti gong, gong i kraj kraj jedne dobre borbe rekao bi čak i velike borbe 